Well, welcome back, everybody. I'm going to show you guys how to paint numbers on your boat. Or your water rescue, or if you just want to paint your boat in general. So sit back, relax, and let's have some fun here. So the paint I'm going to be using for this PVC boat is Duplicolor Vinyl and Fabric Coating. We're going to use a nice black here. And we're going to use a white. What I'll do is I'll uh, fill up this uh, cat from the spray can here. We'll fill it up with paint and uh, we'll just use a paintbrush and we'll go from there. On this boat here, I had some stencils made up so we could do the water rescue on the sides. And right now I'm just taking my clamps and I'm just taking the rope rails and putting them off to the side there so they don't interfere or get painted on. And I'm just going to wipe down the surfaces with some MEKs so the fabric uh, pores open up and allow the paint to absorb into it. And once you've wiped down the surfaces a couple times, get your stencils or whatever you're going to paint on the side there, get it already laid out, taped off, and get ready for the painting process. After your stencils have been all laid out and everything, pull out the paint and a nice paintbrush and start painting away. As you can see, the white's going to go on very lightly, so it's going to take a couple coats. But just take your time and let each layer dry and you should have nothing but success. Now some of you guys in the uh, comments are probably saying, Oh Steve, why don't you just spray it on there, it'd be a lot easier and mask it off. Well, because the surfaces are textured on the PVC fabrics and also on Hypalon as well, it makes it a little bit more difficult and you get a lot of bleed through, which you will see at the end of this video, from all the white leaking through the stencil. So after I've done a couple coats of the paint here, I'm going to pull the stencils off and you're going to see how much the bleed through actually happened just by using the stencils. As you can see, the bleed through was pretty bad on this side. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pull out our MEK and a nice clean rag, actually multiple clean rags, and we're going to erase all the bleed through that has happened here. As you'll see, I'm just taking my time using multiple clean rags and I'm just cleaning up the edges and around all the lettering here so it looks much nicer and cleaner. And now I'm just going to fill in all those little gaps in between the letters from the stencils. It's going to take a couple coats, but once we get it done, it should look really good. Now that we've got both sides painted here, let's give a nice black border so we can give it nice crisp edges and make it stand out being much bolder. Using our black paint, let's give the lettering a nice black border so it sticks out really nicely. And the brush I'm using here is a silicone brush. It gives it nice crisp edges and a nice bold look and prevents runs and also bleed through. Now we're just going to let everything all dry and then we'll have to wipe it down after with some UV protectant. All right, so now that we've got the boat all painted and everything and everything's dry, I've got my little helper here. <laughs> Say hello. Hi. So I got my little helper here. She's going to help apply the UV protectant on this. Uh... Let's get you to wipe this down, OK? OK. Which way? So I'm just going to spray it. I'm just going to spray it. Just wipe it real quickly going across. OK? All right, let's give it a nice wipe. Yeah, at the bottom too. Gotta wipe it all off. Okay, just wipe it all off, just like this. Just like that. Uh, yeah, just wipe it off. 
break it down here. Not so hard, just nice and light. Perfect. It's the other side. You can use this uh, paint on Hypalon, but uh, it might flake and peel a little bit over time. Uh, it's mainly used, this paint's mainly used for vinyl or, in this case, PVC boats because you can open up the pores with the MEK. Um, what else? If you guys are planning on uh, uh, using other products, uh, Polymarine is another good. Uh, product for painting boats. Um, this stuff is not made for coating a boat or making your boat look brand new and stuff. All it is is just for painting numbers and uh, if you want to do some fancy designs or something on your boat. But it's not made to recoat. Just keep that in mind. Um, when it comes to repairs, well, just keep in mind that uh, if you do get a puncture or anything there, you're going to have to wash away or clean up that area of the paint and repaint it in the, down the road, but just take caution and have fun and make sure you guys post and share your paint jobs that you guys do on your boats. And I'll have to share the, uh, the rest of the world the paintings you guys have done on your boats, so please share. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Make sure you smash that like button that's somewhere on there. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe, and happy boating, everybody.